thing. Fefas like helping each other, like like out of for look. Eh? Fefas helping each other look out for foods, business opportunities, jobs, education, and other social welfare openings, especially our children. So he further confirms through his affidavit that he is in the habit of seeking for these favors. Yes. Yes, he does confirm. Permit me to take you. to paragraph 8. The paragraph 8 of the said bundle of document by the Deputy Governor appearing at page th 3. Yes. Are you there? Yes, I'm there. Are you at paragraph 8? Yes. Kindly confirm whether or not you are treated by malice, ill will, ill feeling, uh, <clears throat> the time you actuated this motion as against the deputy governor. And before that, Ms. Mr. Speaker, sir, confirm that you are the MCA referred to at paragraph 8, yes? Uh, Mr. Speaker, and for the purpose of record, uh, it's immoral. Confirm that you are the MCA referred um, to. I confirm I'm the MCA referred to. Have you internalized those allegations contained therein? I've internalized, I've internalized all of them. Have you seen that the Deputy Governor indicates and alleges that you are treated by malice and ill will? I've seen. As against him? I've seen. Because he labels you as an extortionist? Yes. As a person who has insatiable greed for money? That is how he has labeled me. And that effect he sent you approximately 40,000 shillings? Yes. And that he could not cope up with your demand for more money? Yes. And that when the demand ceased, you then actuated this motion? That is what is there. What do you have to say about that? Uh, Mr. Speaker, and for the purpose of record uh, in this Honorable House, it's immoral, uh, unethical, and I see not only before men, but also before God, for the Deputy Governor to try and twist the material fact before uh, for the what was transpiring at the time these monies were sent to you? Actually, on the same month, I had lost my aunt, one of uh, the closest aunt who had left me up, and I had a funeral uh, during that period. The first tranche that he sent on uh, on uh, seventh, I remember I called, I received a call from the deputy governor at around uh, noon. It was few minutes to noon, uh, whereby he called me to pass a condolence message for the sudden death of my hand. So you confirm that this money was sent to you by the deputy governor yes. for purposes of facilitating the funeral of your yes, and aunt? That, yes. And that Did he ever attend that, that funeral? He attended in the Do you have that evidence? I have the evidence. Maybe Mr. Speaker asked that the IT department does play for us the video clip. Um, which is referred to as barrio. Sergeant at arms, uh, please uh, process that clip. We can allow the clip to be played. So process that to be played. We can play the last, uh, the last uh, one minute of that clip. Oh, the, first, uh, the, first, uh, the first one minute and the last one minute. Yeah, let them break the first one minute and the last one minute. Let's get clarification. Who is that speaking? That's myself speaking. Uh, next to me, that's my wife. And those are the children my aunt left. Mr. Speaker, sir, I don't know whether all the members of the assembly are able to follow that language. Or perhaps we need an interpreter. Yes, Mr. Speaker, sir. What language is that? That is Kisi. I guess Kisi. Yes. 
the language uh, is how of Kiswahili or sign up. Mr. Speaker, we brought that the attention of the clerk, and the clerk said that they shall provide an interpreter. The last, uh, the last one minute. The last one minute. Yeah, we we had sought for that, and the clerk indicated they'll get an interpreter for us. We will run the clip to the end. We will. I'll give directions about uh, its admissibility after. Or perhaps could we have witness interpret? Yes, Mr. Speaker, while um, a few of us have the benefit of following, I'm sure majority of the senators, uh, including Senator Galwale, uh, may not be able to follow. We'll be listening to this clip maybe for 10 minutes, but nobody will be following. Maybe you could give direction that uh, an interpreter be availed uh, to concurrently make an interpretation so that the senators are able to follow. It would also have been nice if we had a written uh, script interpreting what is, a, a, what, what is being said in English so that we are able to follow. But I don't think it will serve any purpose for the clip to be played while uh, more than uh, three quarters of senators are not following. Uh, senior Council, that is exactly what the Chair was doing, and I've been informed that we now have an interpreter who can just be ushered in to run us through the interpretation. Kindly replay the clip, let it start, and let's have the interpreter to... The first one minute. Mr. Speaker, for purpose of expediency, we can play the first one minute and the last one minute. Yeah, I'll be okay with that. All right. Uh, Mr. Ndegba, just hold. Uh, what's your point of order, Senator? Mr. Speaker, my suggestion would be, if because it allows on the rules of the House and I don't have the standing orders, we could allow the clip that is being played to be taken by the Speaker's office, allow somebody who can interpret it, and then it will be forwarded to us when we are doing the review tomorrow morning as we proceed. Because somebody might actually interpret... There is already an interpreter. Thank you. There is already an interview. Thank you. Just give us a minute so that we, we settle on that.